guys. <clears throat> Hi guys. Let's have a look at how to create greeting card templates in Affinity Publisher. Greeting cards and templates that go with them in a multitude of sizes, but we're just going to do it with one size at the moment. As you can see from this, standard card sizes uh, vary quite widely, although object I've, it looks like it, but I've got just about every option there you can see to explain them. The only thing you need to be aware of is that there's UK and US sizes. And they're reasonably easy to tell apart. The US sizes are in inches and the UK sizes are in millimetres. The other thing you need to be aware of is that A7, for example, in paper is not the same as A7 in cardstock. So beware of that. A5 in paper stock is not the same as A5 in cardstock. They are slightly different. So be aware of that when you come to doing your work. I'm going to be using true cardstock A7 cards, which are 5 and 1 8 inches by 7 inches cardstock. You can keep all those references there for future reference. Some of the most popular photo print sizes in the US and the UK are 4 by 6, 5 by 7 and 8 by 10. So if you're going to glue your snapshots into your cards, and lots of people do this, it's a very nice way of personalising your cards, then make sure you select a card stock that will work for that. Now, because I'm using probably 5 by 7 photographs, I would use an A7 card, 5 and 1 8 by 7 inches. That gives you a little bit all around the photo. So let's see how we do it. Set up a custom preset. That's what I like to do. To start, select File, New, and in My Presets, select the A7 preset, just because it's there. But don't be fooled, it's not the one we want. That's the paper size A7. We're going to make a standard card stock size of A7. A7 cards, 5x8x7 by by card stock. And you can see if you look at the highlighted presets, that's what I actually called it. Set the document units to inches and it'll immediately change to custom in the, in the top section there where that little plus sign is. Set the page width to 5.125 inches or 5 and 1 8, it'll take both. Set the page height to 7 inches. Carefully set the other options as shown. And you can see them there, 300 dpi. Prefer embedded um, objects. You don't want to scatter your images all around the hard drive. You move them, you've lost them and your document becomes unusable. The number of pages are two. And we'll come back to that. They're facing pages arranged horizontally and they start on the left, not the right as the default is. You start on the left. Colour format, CMYK, because you're probably going to send it to a printer's but your printer understands CMYK in any case. Include margins of half inch all around. That's just so you can see where things are on your paper. Now I'm adding a bleed of 0 0.125 inches all around except for the inner because the two pages will be together. It's physically one big piece of paper. So there's no need for bleed on the inside edge because there actually is no inside edge. It's the spine, if you like, where the card's folded. So include the bleed as shown. Then click Create. So now you should have a double-sided master and two pages to start off with. Now here's something to remember. As this will be a printed card, the front of the card will be page 2 and the back of the card will be page 1. That's the outside, front and back. When you fold it in the middle, your card front will be the page on the right, page 2. Simple enough. So now go to the Pages panel and add a couple more pages. We want something for the inside of the card. These will be your card's inside pages. And you can see the images there. You go to Pages and the little picture of a page, tap on that, Add Pages. That's the drop-down box that come up, two pages. You want them after the existing pages. Master page, 
master A. And when you click OK, that's what you end up with on the right. Two more pages. Pretty easy. The setup of the card. So now you've got a master page, two pages, and that page on the main workspace, work surface, is highlighted. Now, really we don't need to do anything with the master A page because you don't want all of your cards looking the same. Unless, of course, you want something like your own logo and details to appear on the back of the card or each card that you make, as is standard with commercial or charity cards. So let's put something there anyway so you can see what happens. Before we add something to the master a, master a page, a logo on the back page for example, be aware that if you only have master A pages, then it will appear on the inside pages as well. It appears on the left page of every page in your setup. So we need to create a second master page by going to the master page panel and adding another master page. Add a master page, master B, and rename both pages to avoid confusion. I call mine master A outside and master B inside. Pretty easy. Select pages 3 and 4 and right click. Select apply master and from the pop-up menu select master B inside and then select OK. So you're applying the master B page to pages 3 and 4. That way, and now you can see in the left hand side, the logo and text that I put on the left hand side of Master A doesn't appear on the left hand side of the inside pages, which are controlled by Master B. Now your master pages can control permanent content nicely. I've added the logo in a picture frame and a text box, box sorry, with the company blurb in it. It appears on the back of the card only. So let's move to the pages and begin adding content. This is the easy part. Select page 2. Add a picture frame that extends out to the bleed and lines up with the centre line of the card. You know why you go out to the bleed, don't you? So that if you have to trim off the page, or the page is trimmed off by the printer, you don't have an ugly white line surrounding your image. It kind of overprints the edge of the paper. If it goes to a printer, that's the bit they zip off with their guillotine. Now, add your image. Now you can create your own images, or use photographs you've taken, or ready-made images from somewhere like Envato, and the address is in the description. As you can see, it's looking good already. And you can see that the image goes right out to the bleed lines. Now that part of the image will be trimmed off. That's fine, there's nothing important in there. I can lose that bit when it comes to trimming it to size. The inside pages allow you to add whatever you like. The content is up to you. I've put an image in there of a friend with a motorbike. Happy New Year from Robert. Lots of kisses. Merry Christmas. Just what you'd like to see when you open up your Christmas card. And you can see on the left hand side, there's the front and the back. And the next two pages is the two inside pages. So when you print that out on either side of a card and fold it, there's your card. Very nice. You can export the document as PDF. All spreads. You can then print on the full size cardstock, flip it over and print the other side. If you send this job to a printer, they probably won't want it done that way because they have special software that manages how things are printed. If in doubt, ask them. Tell, ask them, do you want all spreads or do you want all pages? And they should be able to let you know. Now, if you do it the all pages method, export as all pages for one page at a time printing. This is the way most printers prefer the document. You also have the option usually in there and you can see it just under the first line PDF for print 300. It's a tick box include bleed or not. You can leave off the bleed. So if you're printing it yourself don't tick that. If you're sending it to a printer ask them do they want the bleed 
to show in your PDF document or not. That's easy. They'll know exactly what you're talking about. Now, there's your new card. Looking awesome. You can now go ahead and create templates for all the card sizes mentioned earlier. Start up your own card business. Wow, now how would that be? Never run out of cards again. You can start sending cards to all your relations, all your family, people everywhere and all sorts of cards. So, thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the thumbs up for a like as well and the bell to be reminded when new videos appear. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.